hear my cry. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If thou, Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with thee. That thou may be feared, I wait for the Lord. My soul waits, and in his word do I hope. My soul waits for the Lord, more than those who watch for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord is great mercy. With him is plenteous redemption. And he will redeem Israel from all their sins. We've gathered to celebrate the life of a good man. A father. A husband. A brother. A son. A friend. A brother in arms. Lance Cassis. The depth of which we grieve is a testament to the depth of love we shared for Lance. Let us now remember and celebrate together. something and sweet little Lance would always take the blame for things and so I wouldn't get into as much trouble. I loved being his twin more than anything and loved how we got to share everything growing up. I think the only thing we didn't love so much was how mom used to dress us up 24-7 in like unisex matching outfits and have us do photo shoots everywhere. But I'm glad she did because now I'll always have those pictures and memories close to my heart. Lance was that one person who would bring out the best in me or anyone that got the chance to be around him. I will remind myself every day that he helped mold myself and my family into who we are today. I'm so thankful to have had those almost 32 years with the most selfless, intelligent, loving, caring, funny, honest, strong, and brave human being I get to call my twin. I hope he, uh, he knows how loved he is. And like I said before, I wish I had more time. But I'll cherish and love the time that I was blessed to have him in my life. And to reference his Instagram, he wrote, Making my way through this mess we call life, so let me be the reason you smile. We love you, Lance. And we will miss your smile, but it will never be forgotten. He tried when he said to go into the army and make do for the family. I never saw him try so hard at anything in his life. Yeah. At 30 years old, joining the army, he it just about killed him getting in. <laughs> Literally, and then when he got there, he said, Dad, I'm dying. These guys are all 18, 19 years old. I'm the old man here. <laughs> so, <laughs> Lance was uh, one of the original members of my club. And 
he helped build it. Um, the club loved Lance. We all did. Um, and a group of bikers trying to look cool and tough. Lance was the great offset and counterbalance for us. <laughs> he, he was so fun. Uh, you were always drawn to him. He was the life of the party. Uh, I, I just want to share a, a, one funny story, you know, because everybody I think has touched on everything that Lance was. Um, there was this one time we were uh, we were meeting some friends at a little hole in the wall nightclub, and Lance had a button up shirt with some shorts on. And we get there, and the bouncer looks at him and says, "Can't come in with shorts." So we all turn around thinking we're going home, you know? And Lance always had his backpack, he's on the floor, he pulls out these bright yellow sweats. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked at him, and he throws them on, and I said, Lance, you look ridiculous. <laughs> and he's like, he said, Lance. <laughs> so we go back, the bouncer takes his flashlight out, and he's looking them up and down, he's like, are you serious? <laughs> said, he said, Lance, bro. <laughs> and I guess the bouncer was just like, he's trying, man, hey, go ahead, he let us in. <laughs> and Lance got on the dance floor and he owned the night. He <laughs> up. He, he was so authentic. I mean, that's the best way I can describe it. He, he didn't care what anybody thought about him. And uh, that's how I remember him. He, he was amazing. Um, so, you know, on behalf of our club, Venice Bikers, Lance, we love you. We miss you. Right in paradise, brother. Thank you. Everyone who loved Lance, befriended him, consoled him, helped him along his life's journey, thank you from the bottom of my heart. You all molded him into the special man and father that I'll find, fondly remember him as. Babe, I love you. The kids love you. I look forward to spending eternity with you. Thank you for watching over us, protecting us, and loving us. You're an innocent, colorful, beautiful soul. I think about you every day and see you in our children's faces. May God bless your soul. Rest in peace, our beautiful guardian angel, Daddy. Thank you for being you and giving your all. You'll always be in my heart and on my mind. I will go on raising our children just as we planned, trying my best to reach all our goals and make sure our kids remember what a great man their father was. I pray the Lord guide us in this time to give us strength and peace and fill us with the fruits of the Spirit and bless us with lives lived to the fullest in honor of Lance in his name. Amen. Whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though this body be destroyed, yet shall I see God, whom I shall see for myself, and mine eyes shall behold, and not as a stranger. We brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord.
accept our prayers on behalf of the soul of thy servant the departed, and grant him an entrance into the land of light and joy in the fellowship of thy saints, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear this blessing. The God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ, to whom the glory be forever and ever. Amen. Rest eternal grant unto him, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon him. May Lance rest in peace. Amen. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen.